Hello everybody, this is Not A Crypto Expert chiming in with another video. And in today's video, I wanted to discuss continuing to set up the Binance account. Before I get into the topic for today though, I'm gonna go ahead and drop the bumper right quick. Please click on the like button if you're on Facebook, make sure that those notifications are turned on. If you're on YouTube, make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure the post notifications are turned on. If you're on IG, Make sure you give me a heart and make sure that you follow. If you are on Twitter, make sure that you go over and you click that follow button. And I would love a comment just to let. Now, the uh, two-factor authentication was something that I decided to wait until the very last moment because I wanted to give my feelings on the uh, SMS authentication. I'm not a fan of SMS authentication. And the reason being, if I'm a hacker or if I'm a criminal, whatever, you know, I don't want to say that hackers all hackers are criminals but if i'm a criminal and i am trying to rob someone that i know has uh, cryptocurrency or just getting access to their their um their digital identity if i've got access to their mobile device and i know that they've been using their mobile device as a form of authentication there's a i'm not gonna say there's a good chance but i can call up a uh, your cell phone provider if i know who they are and all I need is a customer service rep that doesn't do their job diligently enough to uh, verify who I am. Or I might have uh, enough information to just get the customer service rep to, you know, just believe that I am the person that should have access to this uh, to the SIM card or excuse me, to um, to this account. So once I've gotten the trust from the customer service rep, I asked them to activate a SIM card and this would realistically, I guess, I guess it would work on a uh, Sprint and Verizon. I was going to say it would only really work on GSM networks, but since we moved over to LTE, it should theoretically work. But let's say a SIM card as well as a, a device if you're on a um, uh, legacy CDMA network. Once I get them to activate that device or that SIM card, at that point I've got access to, I, I by bypassed your, your two-factor authentication. And I've also got a device that now I can have your uh, passwords reset and it's going to say, all right, well, we're going to send this code to your, your cell phone, which I have access to. Now, this isn't something that I'm just like coming up with. It's just pie in the sky. This has actually happened. There's actually uh, a lawsuit and people that have been criminally charged for this. It's called a SIM swapping or SIM jacking. So once again, I'm going to say I am not a fan of uh, SMS authentication. Um, I would tell, I actually, I'm not just going to say I, I would tell, I tell people that I know personally do not use your mobile number as a means of authenticating your account. Because if someone gets access to your phone number, they could, you know, do whatever they wanted to. And if your device is deactivated, you're not even going to know what's going on because there's notifications that would normally be coming to you. Are probably being deleted because this person has access to your two-factor authentication key so i would recommend the uh, the google authentication now granted that does not mean that you still can't be hacked or you know um some criminal get access to your your data or your information or your digital identity because i mean if somebody wants it bad enough and they've got enough time you know where there's a will there's a way but i'm going to go ahead and set up the google authentication because i, I feel that it provides way more security than the uh, SMS authentication. And if you don't believe me, just Google SMS hacking or SIM swapping. So since I had not set up the uh, two-factor authentication, this screen right here pops up every single time that I log in. I had been pressing skip for now until I got this video, but now I'm gonna go on ahead and I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you click on SMS authentication, even though I do not recommend it. But it's, you know, fairly self-explanatory. You put in your phone number, sms code it's going to enable your phone number it's just verifying that this that you've got access to this phone number but once again i would not recommend this all right so i'm going to go on ahead and set up the two-step authentication with the google authenticator which is an app so i'm going to go on ahead and click on this now there are four steps that need to be done in order to enable the google authenticator for the account the first would be downloading the app to your device. The app is available for iOS as well as Android devices. You can search the store, the uh, Google Play Store or the um, the App Store. The app is in both of them or you can send this link that they've got a link for the, uh, the app. 
directly on here so you can copy and paste it to yourself email it to yourself whatever you need to do to get it on your mobile device now after you get it on your mobile device or excuse me once you get the, the uh, app installed on your mobile device you click next and there is a QR code that's generated now uh, my QR code it's gonna probably look a little bit distorted and there is also a series of numbers and letters right here if the QR code scanning does not work so on my Google Authenticator I'm gonna press the uh, the plus sign and it gives me an option for a scan barcode or a manual entry I'm gonna go ahead and select the option to scan the barcode and I just hold my camera I just point it at the screen so that it gets the QR code and then after that I just press next and this is really quick like as soon as it sees a QR code it will add the account to the uh, Google Authenticator now this next step is very very important it's the uh, backup key so if you ever get locked out of your Google Authenticator this is what you would need in order to get back into or restore the service for you or the app for you or your rights to the app mine is obviously blocked out however there is a series of numbers and letters that are right here that I would highly encourage that you make sure that you write down somewhere and the very last step is to actually authenticate the account so you're going to type in your Binance account password as well as the Google authentication code now you get the Google authentication code from the Google Authenticator app you just open up the app and you should see your account listed there now this is on a timer so you need to make sure that you do this before it expires because a new code is generated after it's been typed in just press submit and voila I am now authenticated for two-step authentication with the uh, Google Authenticator as you see my SMS authentication is it's not turned on it's giving me the option to turn it on and if I wanted to I could disable my Google authentication which I'm not going to do because this is very important um, I do not recommend that you do what I did when I initially set up the account and do not set up two-step authentication the only reason why I did that is because I wanted to have a video showing where you can go to set this up and also this took me to the at uh, the security settings by default if you want to change this or if you want to enable the uh, sms authentication what you would do is you would go to the dashboard or once you log in i go to security from the dashboard and you would be able to change that here under the two-factor authentication so i hope that this video serves you well keep in mind that your security is key your digital identity is key keep those private keys safe write them down do not take a picture of them and email them to yourself because if somebody gets into your account and they've got your 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 emails or just don't store their information online because it's for a security reason and it can't be hacked if it's not connected to the web so I'm gonna leave this video here I hope it's helpful and with that being said, folks, I hope that you are having a great morning, a great afternoon, and an even better evening.